Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And I am here with a Cricut project today. So today I'm going to be showing you how to take your Cricut Maker or your Cricut Joy. I did this project with my Joy. And to use a bit of infusible ink, a transfer sheet, and one of Cricut's new makeup bags, cosmetic bags, to make this adorable little tote. It says, nope, not today, because sometimes we just can't, okay? It's a really quick and easy project. I do use my easy um, mini easy press instead of my easy press two, but you can use whatever easy press you have. With infusible ink, a heat press of any kind is gonna be much easier than an iron because it distributes heat evenly. It gets hot enough for the infusible ink to work. So keep that in mind. We're gonna get started and then, then we'll be done. It's a really fast and easy project. So that's about all there is to it. Let's get started. Hey y'all, voiceover Betsy here and let's get right into this. So go ahead and open your infusible ink box. If you have not used it before, it'll be sealed in a black bag that helps protect the ink from sunlight. We're gonna use one of our pieces here and we're going to use a paper cutter just to cut it down to about four inches wide. You want to make sure that you're cutting the portion of the sheet that you like the colors of. I wanted my bag to be mostly pinks, blues, and purples with just a little bit of the yellow since the yellow won't let you read my words quite as easily. So use the darkest part of this particular transfer sheet as you can. Now make sure you're using clean dry hands so you don't mess up any of that ink and carefully smooth your transfer sheet onto the mat. Then open up Cricut Design Space and search for the Nope t-shirt. We're going to customize it so that we can make sure it will fit onto our mat. We're going to resize it so that it's no more than four inches wide and then click make it. We need to tell our Cricut Joy that we are doing an on mat project, so make sure to click that. Perfect. And now we are going to mirror our design so that the words will cut properly. Last but not least, we are going to pick Infusible Ink Transfer Sheet. Just click Browse All Materials, start to type that in, and it'll pop right up. All right, now we can go ahead and load our mat into the joy. It'll feed it through automatically, and then you can click start on your computer. It'll start to cut and you can watch the magic. This is definitely, okay, I think they're all the best part, but this is one of the best parts. I love watching the cricket work. Luckily, it's a pretty straightforward design, and so the cut is pretty quick. Once it's done, you'll hit unload, and it will kick out that mat. Beautiful, darling. I just love looking at those cut lines. We can go ahead and remove the transfer sheet by flipping it over and you're going to curl the mat away from the transfer sheet, not the transfer sheet away from the mat. That keeps your transfer sheet from becoming super curly and hard to work with. Now we can put our Cricut Joy away. We are done with it. Thank you for all the good times, Cricut. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and start our little mini easy press. You can use an easy press too for this, but I just wanted to show you that if all you have is that mini easy press, it will work for infusible ink sheets. We're going to go ahead and weed our design. So basically you're just removing all the negative space, anything that you don't actually want to iron on. So you don't need a weeding tool for infusible ink sheets. They're pretty delicate but they're also strong like cardstock. So just use your fingers and slowly take all the pieces off until it's perfectly ready to go. Voila. All right, next things next. We're gonna go ahead and get out our Cricut mat. 
don't knock over your Easy Press Mini. It might burn you. We're going to get our little makeup bag. This is the medium size, so you can always resize your design. I did turn my mini up to three. You want it as hot as it can go. And now you're just going to preheat your little makeup bag by basically ironing the surface. Do this for about 20 seconds maybe. It doesn't need to be long. You just want to warm up the surface so that it's accepting the infusible ink sheet on a warm surface. Now we're going to go ahead and put this guy down and smooth it in place. The transfer sheet is sticky, so it will stick pretty well on its own. But since we are using our mini easy press, we really need to make sure that all those little pieces of infusible ink don't go anywhere when we heat them up. This is especially important since we're not using a larger easy press that you can set down and lift up once. We're going to be setting down and lifting up that mini several times. So make sure you use some heat resistant tape to smooth it in place. I decided at this point that it wasn't quite centered. That's okay. I just peeled it up and moved it over and then made sure it was all stuck again. Make sure it's straight. That's important. There we go. You really want to make sure everything's down, especially those little tiny insides of the O's. Those come up first. All right, so now you're going to simply place, don't iron, but place and pick up your mini easy press across the entire design. Don't skip an area, don't miss an area. You wanna make sure you hit everything for a solid 10 seconds. That's going to ensure the maximum time. This is sped up to like 600%, so it actually takes a minute. <laughs> Now go ahead and turn off your easy press and you're going to let this cool so that you can do a cold peel. Once it's cool, you can come back and take it off. And you'll see those nice crisp lines. Oh, it's so pretty. Does anybody else like get really excited by their projects? Because I get really excited by my projects. Even though I know what it's going to look like, I still get excited. <laughs> Okay, and that's it. How easy was that? Even if this is your first project, like y'all can do this. Okay, it's easy. You can use your Joy, you can use a Maker, you can use an Explore Air 2. The, this part I was showing you is that that bit of the ink didn't transfer quite as much as I wanted. Make sure you really use your Easy Press. And that's it. See how the difference is between the vibrant color of the press and the original sheet? That is the magic of infusible ink. <laughs> All right, what did I tell you? How easy was that? I absolutely love how it turned out. I know I showed it to you guys already, but just look at that color. I'm kind of obsessed with it. I think I'm going to use it at work to keep some extra makeup in and maybe some candy for important times at work when you need candy. <laughs> You can always use a different access file to put something different on your makeup bag, but I liked this one. Leave me a comment down below with what your makeup bag says. Bye, y'all.